Well, folks, we did it. We're graduating. Like it or not, here it comes. It feels so hard to believe that our four years here are coming to an end. I can still close my eyes and envision my first time walking through the doors for my tour of the school and feeling overwhelmed. At the time, it seemed unreasonable to me that I could manage to navigate my way through the halls, let alone graduate, but nevertheless, here we are. We've seen a lot during our four years in high school. Lockdowns, strikes, at-home learning. I mean, we made it through a global pandemic. That's no small feat. But instead of talking about all of the things we've had to overcome, I want to take this opportunity to focus on the good times and look out toward the future. I would also like to extend a thank you to our parents, guardians, teachers, and all members of the FHS community who've helped us along our way. We would not be here without your kindness, support, and patience during your time with us. As I see you all now, I can't help but remember all of the good times we've had. From fun events such as casino night or welcome to the jungle, to football games and pajama days, I see the faces of friends and classmates that I've had the pleasure to share my time here with. I am overwhelmed by the countless memories of intense debates in English class and the collective panic before a math test. I see teachers who managed to put up with us and all of the madness we caused during our time at FHS. As I look out, I see people who at one time were just a name on a team's call because we all know that nobody was turning their cameras on for those. In others, I see people who were there to help their peers study and to offer support when it was needed during our crazy years here at FHS. But most importantly, in each of you, I see someone who persevered through all the adversity and made it to the finish line. Above all else, as I look out on this graduating class, I see our future. Before me now is our next generation of lawyers, tradespeople, parents, doctors, chefs, teachers, and entrepreneurs. I am filled with confidence that not just our generation, but especially this graduating class, is filled with the new age of artists, athletes, and who knows, maybe even our next prime minister. For many of us, myself included, the future is a gut-wrenching fear. And that is okay. The fear of the unknown is natural. However, the reality is that the unknown is the greatest thing to have in life. The unknown is simply a blank canvas on which we get to paint our own destiny. This is an opportunity for you to take the world by storm and bring into life what you have always dreamed of accomplishing. Write that book, climb that mountain, apply for that job. This is our time to hit the world head on and make it our own. As I look out on all of us, I see our chance to change the world. And I don't know about you, but I like our odds. Yes, our high school experience has been marred by some adversity, but as the great Rocky Balboa once said, it ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. We have been hit by a lot, but we have risen above every little thing that has tried to hold us back. We are not a graduating class to feel sorry for because our high school experience was full of so many trials and tribulations, but we are a class to be proud of as we clear every last hurdle with flying colors and cross our highly anticipated finish line. We are a graduating class to be excited for as we leave this place and head on to our next phase of life. Lastly, I want to leave you all with this thought. They say that high school is the best four years of our lives, and as I look out on all of you, I see our opportunity to go out there and prove them wrong by making each year better than the last. Congratulations, class of 2023.